Okay, to continue our introduction, let's just do a little playing around inside of ArtRage here. So I'm back at the gallery. I'm just going to tap on the plus button up here. Go to new painting, create new painting. Uh, I have different choices here. I can uh, change how the paper interacts here. I could change a little bit here. I'm just going to use the default. I don't need to make any changes there. It worked great just as it is. So I'm going to tap on done. Okay, so here, here we are. I'm going to just reduce it. I like to be able to see my edges, so I, I pinched it a little bit just so we can see the edges. You recognize some of these things. This is obviously a color picker, and the outside band is what color you want. So if you want green, and then in this inside area you have shades of that color. There is a little metallic thing that you can turn on to make your image, uh, your paint look a little more metallic. I don't ever use that. So, um, but And then that's how you make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so uh, for all the tools, I mean, we could, I'm going to put in the resources links to just hours upon hours of tutorials for using all these different tools here. We're mostly going to just concern ourselves with the oil brush. Uh, don't be fooled by how these brushes look. This is, you know, this looks like a really sharp tip brush and this looks like a square tip brush. This is actually the watercolor paint. Okay. And this is the oil paint. Inside these brushes, you can make them as big or as small as you want. So see if I have a 15% uh, brush, here, it just makes you know very nice uh, small strokes. If I change that percentage to say 80%, now I have uh, bigger strokes, okay? And you can do that with, of course, the watercolor as well. So don't be fooled by just what these look like. You can make this big fat brush here, make it nice and thin so you can do really intricate details. So let's do that right now. Let's make sure to select that brush. Uh, let's change it to about 50%, so we've got just a decent size uh, brush here and then let's just use the color picker and just pick some nice big bright colors I want to see I, I want you to see that the colors do mix like when you get You know the color near another color. It'll dirty up your brush with that color and If you paint a long stroke you do eventually You know run out of paint like it, it will run out on you So and, and you can see like the start of my stroke to the finish of my stroke. It kind of has that look to it uh, so when you paint you can do some really you know, interesting things here. So just just with the same brush, try try different sizes. Um, now I'm going to go 25, and then different colors, just so you're seeing how how it all works, and and just play, just make a big mess on your your canvas, just to see how uh, it it interacts with you. Okay, so that's that's all we're doing for this first one here, is just making a really really big mess here. 